beautiful beautiful Belize so I just got here right um, I flew in from Miami International Airport the flight was about two and a half hours so once I landed in Belize City I had to take one of the small local planes and fly over to one of their islands called San Pedro that plane ride was about 15 minutes from Belize City and it was on a small plane like one of those small seaplanes and I was super nervous I got to ride next to the pilot so that was really really cool but I was like scared the entire time but overall I really enjoyed that experience I took Maya Air and I'm staying at the Alaya Belize in San Pedro and when I tell you guys this room is beautiful like I absolutely love this room I'm gonna give you guys like a small room tour but I recorded like a full video I'm gonna be sure to link it below pretty much but just gonna give you guys like a glimpse of the room and then from there, I'm gonna take you guys along with me on my adventures in Belize, so stay tuned. Okay, so to get around the island, we have to basically take a small golf cart and we just got our golf cart dropped off by luxury golf cart rentals. So this is gonna be my transportation for the next couple of days. It's so cute. And they just dropped it off to my hotel. <laughs> First stop is this little fruit stand. I'm gonna get some some different fruit. They got pineapple, a bunch of stuff. Oh, they got watermelon too. I'll probably get pineapple, watermelon, some banana. Got some watermelon. Watermelon and pineapple. That's about it. Okay, so I changed my clothes. I came downstairs by the pool. I'm gonna order some. I don't know. I need to get some lunch because I got here early and I don't know. I feel like I'm just so excited that I'm not hungry, but I kind of am hungry because I really didn't eat anything this morning. But I came downstairs by the pool to get some lunch and I'm going to show you guys their menu. I'm thinking about like the fish tacos or something, but I don't know. Everything just sounds good. I'm going to show you guys the menu and you guys going to help me pick pretty much. I was thinking about this though. Where is it? That sounds very good. Now they have the pricing in USD and in Belizean dollars. And of course, when you stay in a hotel, you're paying for convenience, so. Overall, it's been pretty cool. I picked up the golf cart. Well, they dropped it off to the hotel. 
overall it's been pretty cool pretty chill um the guy dropped off the golf cart a few minutes ago and i feel like today i'm just gonna be chilling for the rest of today tomorrow i want to try to go to secret beach the guy that dropped me off to the hotel he said it was like an hour and 15 minute drive in a golf cart so yeah i feel like if i'm driving an hour and 15 minutes i'm gonna stay out there the whole day pretty much but today's just a chill day just check in chill decompress eat some food relax and the rest of the days are gonna be filled with adventure so i'll let you guys know when the food comes okay so i ordered the fish tacos with a side of french fries it really looks and smells good so i'll let you guys know how it tastes he also missing my coconut water but he said he bringing it back when i tell y'all these fish tacos are so good i'm not over exaggerating I already ate one taco. This is taco number two. Mm. With a chipotle sauce. Ah. I'm messing it up, but. It's coconut water. It's okay. I just feel like a princess every time I travel somewhere, especially when I'm being like catered to and pampered. I just love it. I'm gonna finish eating these tacos and I'm gonna get back to y'all. Like I said, for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna like chill pretty much. But tomorrow is where the adventure somewhat kicks in. I'm gonna finish enjoying my lunch and I'll see you guys later on, or maybe in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So this is day two in Belize. It's about 10 o'clock here, I think, like this morning. I promise I was worn out. I think it's like the jet lag pretty much, but I didn't eat breakfast at the resort. I wanted to try like this little local dish here that they have. So what I said was I'm gonna go to one of their little local restaurants, try it there, get some breakfast. I'm pretty much dressed. I'm just wearing like a simple cover up. Today's gonna be like another chill day. Tomorrow I have a boat day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get out in the town a little bit more. So yeah, I'm taking you guys along with me for this adventure as well. And I feel like San Pedro or Belize overall is just like, especially San Pedro is like a chill, lax little island. Like you can wear literally your most comfortable clothes and you'll be okay. Like I just been wearing cover up since I got here because it's been hot. And I mean, who really wants to dress up when you're on an island, but gonna show you guys my outfit so this is like a glimpse of my outfit I don't know if you guys can really see but this is my outfit sorry about the shoes in the way I just love wearing cover-ups especially on vacation I just feel so comfortable but yeah like I said I'm gonna get ready to head downstairs go to my golf cart and I'll let you guys know when I get there peace are you ready, are you ready? <laughs> yes I am they say you a superstar now, damn. I guess I am. You might be the So instead of going to Estelle's down by the sea, I decided to come to Sammy's because I couldn't find it on the GPS. It's loud in my background, but I couldn't find it on the GPS. Like, it took me somewhere completely different. So I just came to a place called Sammy's to grab some breakfast, and we'll see how it goes. Jack, but instead of like with eggs how people usually get it I ordered it with chicken 
So I'll let you guys know how it tastes because I'm iffy about eggs. That's my whole thing. Sometimes I like eggs, sometimes I don't. So I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. Thank you. And it's hot out, so. And to what I can appreciate about here, the customer service has been good. Like everywhere I've been so far, the customer service has been like really, really good. I appreciate that. Just like St. Martin. I got the fried jack chicken, lettuce, tomato, cheese. Like it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is so good. I literally like ate the whole thing. I'm on the last bites pretty much. But this was so good. Okay, so now I'm at this little beach bar. Um just gonna probably grab a drink, sit on the beach, chill out for the rest of today. I did want to do the chocolate making class that they have but they don't open until later. So I'm gonna see how I can go about doing that. But getting ready to go on the beach and take you guys along with me. The place is called Toast. I'm seeing a sign right now. It's called Toast Seaside something and grill. And they have a little beach area. So I'm like, yeah, finish with breakfast. I'm gonna chill out at a beach bar or something for the rest of today. And the thing about Belize is it's so beautiful here. Like I've been enjoying it so much. And all I've been seeing are these iguanas. I want to show them to you, but I'm a little scared. So yeah. Man, well that's unless I am. <laughs> okay, I'll confess I am. Go ahead and get undressed, I am. Okay. I'm gonna order a drink though. Nothing with alcohol. Probably like a virgin pina colada or something. So we'll see. Cool, you want sunset? I am. I'm about to slide, okay, I'm outside, okay This lifestyle don't got many downsides Except for the lack of time I get around my family Making sure they never downsize I got visions of my mom saying, wait, this house mine Can't lie, I'm on Angus Cloud 9 I got him on a bandwagon now, about time I ain't even got no downtime Every time I speak, she say, yeah, that sounds fine I've been a, throw up the, sex in a I think this one is the beach bomb. I can taste like the banana and whatever else in it. Well, the beach bar was pretty cool, but yeah, today was chill. beach bar came back to my hotel showered took a nap i got dressed now i'm heading to a place called maxi's um a nice restaurant i'm dressed i want to be there by like eight o'clock at the latest right now it's like 6 30 ish maybe a little after 6 30 so uh, yeah i'll let you guys know once i get there no letting go no holding back But if you can hear me, I made it to Maxi. I'm gonna get ready to go inside. Well, I need like two different spots. Um, I'm just between the pasta or the fish. I think I'm gonna order like their chicken alfredo pasta with fettuccine. You can pick like the pasta noodles that you want and stuff in the side. So I think I might do like a chicken pasta or something like that. 
But to start, I ordered like a virgin pina colada, and then as my appetizer, I ordered like a honey corn. Um, Thank you. <laughs> the power just literally went out. <laughs> That's crazy. You just mean free food? My thing is too. The power went out. Did that mean the stove went out? I thought they were going to put my pops in. But they wear a new little light picture thing. It's cool though. I'm on the island, so I'm chilling. But they brought this out. I love me a Mikey Martini. I know you guys probably can't see, but. Okay, so day three in Belize. Um, today is a boat day, and I have to be to the boat dock by about 8.30. It's about 7.14 right now, so I'm already dressed pretty much. Um, I'm just making sure I have everything in order for me to head out. But yeah, I think the place is about 20 minutes from here. I have to meet them by 8.30. The boat leaves at about 9, so yeah, I have to meet them for a briefing, and I'll let you guys know once I get there. I'm going to be there until about 3 45 4 o'clock so it's gonna be a long boat day so stay tuned okay so i finally made it i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of their dock and what time is it I gotta check in by like 8 30. it's about 8 20. so yeah we're gonna be here most of the day we're gonna be here most of the day it should be fun, right? Girl, I'm so glad So I had to send it back. 
and now it just tastes like hella liquor. So let's see if the food can make up for this drink. But yeah, this place is like super busy. But I went outside, I picked my seafood. I got the snapper, I got a fry. I ordered a side of rice and beans with what else I order? With a salad, a garden salad. So I'll let y'all know how the food tastes. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so last night I went to Caramba's, which is where you basically pick out your seafood on the side of the street and they weigh it and cook it for you. That restaurant, it was okay. Like I like to rate restaurants as far as if I would go back. And to be honest, I mean, I wouldn't go back. It was a cool experience, but it's somewhere I wouldn't go back. So this morning I'm gonna try to find Estelle's Dying by the Sea because I tried to find it the other day, but couldn't find it because of the GPS. So this time I'm gonna use Google Maps. Google Maps has been my best friend literally this entire trip. I started out using Waze, but it takes me to the wrong places. So yeah, Google Maps is your best friend. So I'm gonna try to find Estelle's again. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and yeah, I'll let you guys know how my experience goes. I'm gonna try the Fried Jack, the breakfast one. So yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. So I think I might try the fried jack because I finally made it to the sales. But they only have it like the breakfast way with the egg. So I think I might have to tough it out and just get the egg to be honest. You guys, this is literally my breakfast view. Like I got to show y'all how beautiful this is. Okay, so this is how the fry jack looks. It looks pretty good. So I'll let y'all know how it tastes. Just taste tested it out like plain. I think it might need a little syrup. So I'm gonna put a little syrup on there. The egg tastes pretty good though. And I did tell them to fry it like hard, so. It's pretty good. I think it tastes a little better with the syrup. But in all honesty, I like the chicken one better. That's just my opinion though. And so I'm really not too crazy about eggs.
but they were closed because of the uh, power outage. What up, woman? I don't know that shit. Oh my god. You guys check TikTok, YouTube, Discovery Channel, a TV show named Temptation Island. Same snake, same battle. Just chilling this bad boy, we don't need that. So just chilling it, alright? All we need is the vitamin S. How is this snake thing? To put him alive, by the way. Right now he's taking a nap. <laughs> like I said, we got a ritual, alright? Yeah. When you're taking the shot. You put the tip of your finger on the liquid, something like this. Tip. Pick it up, keep it down this way. I'll okay. be lighting the tip of your finger on fire. When I light this, yeah. keep it down this way, darling. Like this? When I light, you suck. When I said go, you go. Go. Take the shot. Do it. Breathe. Shoot it like a pro. Don't then you breathe. Eat, then you eat the pineapple. Okay? Take the shot. Don't breathe. Shoot it. Yeah, that shot got my throat burning. Okay, it's officially my last night in Belize. I'm gonna go to this restaurant called Elby's. Last dinner in Belize. I had so much fun today at Secret Beach, minus me dropping my microphone in the water. So I might have to order another one. I might not, who knows, but heading to Elby's. There's gonna be like a power outage at 11.30 throughout the whole island, but the hotel has a generator, which is the good part, but last dinner in Belize. I'm so sad I have to leave in the morning, but I'll see you guys when I get a dinner. You guys, the wait in Sa'a is so ridiculous. And it's a power outage on the island. But the wait in Sa'a is crazy. It's so many people in there waiting. Today is officially my last day in Belize, sadly. I'm gonna get ready and head, well, I'm actually all ready right now. But today is officially my last day in Belize. So I'm gonna get ready to head out to go to Sammy's and have breakfast for the last time. Now, Sammy's is my number one recommendation as far as being in Belize. When I say you, they have some great breakfast, especially their fried jack with chicken, so good. But if I don't get to close out this video, I want to thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. My flight from San Pedro leaves at about 10 o'clock. So I have to check out, head to the San Pedro airport, fly into Belize City. My flight to my flight from Belize City to Miami leaves at about 1.30. So I should be back in Miami around like 5, 6 o'clock Miami time because Belize is like two hours behind Miami but I want to thank you guys so much for rocking with me throughout this entire experience I had so much fun in Belize I plan to do a group trip here too so that's going to be a lot of fun but thank you guys so so much for tuning in if you like this video if you have any questions let me know in the comments below be sure to like this video subscribe to my YouTube channel and as always I'll see you in my next one peace guys Boy.